What is going on, Ive Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about this amazing pilot study done by Dr. Jason Fung, in which he was able to radically alter the type 2 diabetes in the patients and get all of them off of the insulin medication. We're going to quickly go ahead and deconstruct that study in this video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, one thing that I love about Dr. Jason Fung is that he continues to spearhead the movement of intermittent fasting within the medical industry. Like I put up videos and I talk about intermittent fasting and I aggregate the information, but he's on the inside consistently moving the needle forward. And I'm sure that it must not be easy considering that many of his peers, which is many people in the medical industry, do not want to move towards that position of using intermittent fasting, therapeutic fasting to heal people or even and tackle fasting for things like type 2 diabetes but he continues to push forward within the medical industry to show that intermittent fasting or fasting therapeutic fasting can one day be a means to an end for things like type 2 diabetes and other health related factors but now jumping into this study in particular this study was a pilot study and one very interesting thing is that dr. Jason Fung did this without any grants without any funding there was no company or no business that put money into this fund so it was done 100% through the intensive dietary management clinic that is run in Canada by Dr. Jason Fung. So this is somewhat of a pilot study as the sample size was extremely low. It was three adult males. It was a 67 year old male, a 40 year old male, and a 52 year old male. Each of them were not pre-diabetic, they were diabetic. They had type two diabetes, full blown type two diabetes. Now a lot of studies have shown that intermittent fasting is effective for pre-diabetes but it's always been the case that people would say listen don't fast if you do type 2 diabetes and even with that there should be a disclaimer this is fasting done with medical supervision so if you do have type 2 diabetes before I jump into this video still even Dr. Jason Fun recommends to do this kind of therapeutic fasting within a medical supervised location there are fasting clinics that do therapeutic fasting so if you're going that route please consult doctors that can assist you and do a medical supervised version of fasting but these people had diabetes for a long time the 67 year old had diabetes for 10 years the 40 year old male was diagnosed with diabetes for over 20 years and the 52 year old male was diagnosed with diabetes for over 25 years so all three of them have had diabetes for a very long time which makes the results of this study astonishing one thing that they also tested was of course their blood glucose their blood pressure they also looked at their waist circumference and body mass index and compared and contrasted from the beginning the first week second week third week etc etc so they were looking at other health marker indicators that showed that the person's health was gradually increasing as well as type 2 diabetes in and of itself was being eradicated little by little so they had to be very careful they supervised them they looked at all of their numbers and then at a certain point they decided to get them off of the insulin medication they were also on other medication because that comes with you know you get hyperglycemia you know you get hypertension and all these different things happen to you when you're a type 2 diabetic these are all different symptoms from type 2 diabetes so there were medications for other symptoms so they were using those of course as long as those numbers were still in levels where those symptoms were still apparent for this therapeutic fasting to work and for the outcome to be what uh, dr. Jason Fung was was looking to move them towards he had to obviously get them off of the insulin because the insulin is counterintuitive to what intermittent fasting is trying to do intermittent fasting is trying to lower the insulin and make it more insulin sensitive so if you're adding a medically induced insulin then you're increasing the insulin in the system so he, he had to get them off of that and of course he had to be very careful he had to you know time it well now what kind of fasting regimen did they do they did a somewhat OMAD regimen it was a 24 hour fast three times a week every Every time that they didn't fast they did a lunch and dinner as opposed to when they did fast they only did dinner so on fasting days they only ate dinner so they ate kind of later in the day and it appears that the non fasting days were still a somewhat fasting day since that overnight fast was there when they were sleeping and then they didn't eat up until at least 12 o'clock so there was some resemblance of fasting there probably like a 16 or 15 or 14 hour fast but there was a 
a fasting versus eating deficit there where there was a higher level of fasting than eating since they did not eat breakfast he had them skip breakfast so they ate lunch and dinner and then with the 24 hour fast they only ate the dinner so it appears that an OMAD protocol was utilized for this study and all the participants were examined on average twice a month during these two week visits they did lab data testing so they looked at their blood they looked at their blood pressure they looked at all these different things they continued to look at the circumference of the body and this program lasted for several months how quickly do you think that these people utilizing intermittent fasting were able to get off of their insulin medication this is the shocking thing to me they needed to use their insulin medication for over 10 years over 20 years over 25 years the longest it took for them to have to get off of their insulin medication was 18 years days not even a month 18 days and there was one of the three that was able to get off of his insulin medication in five days in less than a week something that he has been doing for at least 10 years he was able to get off of in five days using therapeutic fasting fasting for about 24 hours three times a week and doing a somewhat light fast on every other day and before a week was even completed his biomarkers allowed him to come off of his insulin medication not to mention two of the three were able to come off of all medication that they've been using period one of them had a lot of other different complications in the body in terms of the type 2 diabetes that he had which was a patient who had over 20 years being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes but he got off of all other medications except one so he was still using one medication based on uh, the biomarkers that he had but everyone else all the other two patients were able to get off of all of their medication all of their symptom medication and as well as getting off the insulin itself. There was also no symptoms of the hyperglycemia found or reported in the patients during this process, which is amazing. And the HbA1c, hemoglobin A1c, which is a uh, blood pigment that is kind of bound to the glucose, that has an indicator of how bad type 2 diabetes is. Those markers improved in all three patients. And of course, their body mass index improved and their waist circumference reduced. Now, this pilot study is massive massively important because it lets us inch closer to allowing larger studies to happen because this is kind of showing that there's safety within this process as long as it's medically supervised. So we've seen this done in rats all the time, but to do it in humans, that's a big deal. So I literally tip my hat off to people like Dr. Jason Fung, or actually just to Dr. Jason Fung, as indicated, no one has ever done a study, even a pilot study of this nature. And even reading the study itself, you can see how important it is to correct this epidemic of type 2 diabetes. 10% of the population in both Canada and the United States have type 2 diabetes, and it is a pharmaceutical cost of over $250 billion. So finding an alternative that is actually effective that can tackle the root of the problem and not just the symptoms of the problem is an amazing thing and it's amazing to show that intermittent fasting in and of itself can do that so once again I do want to stress that if you're going to try to attempt this in any way please make sure that you consult with your doctor please make sure that you do it in a medically supervised location for fasting and there are places that exist that do medical supervised fasting I want to thank dr. Jason Fung for doing such an amazing work even without funding just because he has a passion behind the therapeutic fasting and intermittent fasting in and of itself and of course i want to thank my patrons from my patreon and i'm going to put their names right up here 